Hello and welcome to this session on SQL tutorial. Now in today's session we will be talking about certain data sets which we will use for our SQL programming. Now let me introduce you to the two data sets which we are going to use today in our session. One is employee attrition. Now as you can see we are using MySQL as our SQL database in which we have already prepared databases for two tables one is employee attrition and another is olympic events so in this due course of this session we will be showing you certain queries certain analytics which you can perform on different types of the data columns which are present and what intelligent inferences you can make out of this data so we are going to use first talk about the employee attrition now let me first make you aware what kind of columns data types and data which we have prepared now if you see the employee attrition table there are these columns so i'll just try to alter the table first okay so employee attrition table these are the columns like age attrition business travel daily rate department etc i'll show you the sample values okay and employee id is the primary key which is and it's auto increment so basically any new data any new employee details which will be entered in this table a new id will get generated for the uh, employee automatically by the database so just to let you know we are using mysql workbench which is the tool available to uh, interact to in a query in server Now, now you can see the table, you have the age of the employee, whether it is uh, the employee has exited attrition, yes or no, what was the business travel frequency, what was the daily rate of particular employee, department to which he belongs, distance from home, education field to which education background he belongs to, environment satisfaction, the work environment satisfaction, this, this is the feedback survey data which has been accumulated, the gender of the uh, employee hourly rate job involvement job level what is his what was his role his or her role uh, the level of job satisfaction marital status monthly income monthly rate number of companies total uh, the employee has worked whether he performs overtime yes or no the salary hike which he has been given uh, the performance rating his or her relationship satisfaction total number of working years work life balance total number of years at the current company and years in the current role and years in last year since last promotion so these are important in order to identify uh, you know whether the uh, employee is having uh, you know has received the promotion basis the uh, uh, basis the salary hike performance rating etc so we will look what how, what all we can do with this data and last is employee ID. Okay, now basic SQL query. Query, we run, select star from employee attrition, and you get the entire data. Okay. <clears throat> now, for example, I want to get a query to find the details of employees under attrition, employee attrition having five plus years of experience. So, what we will do now is we will do a select star from employee attrition table but now we will apply filters like what is the age of the employees we want between 27 and 35 so the first filter which we will apply is that we will get the list of employees which are in the bracket of age 27 to 35 so we will use something called as a between clause so between 27 and 35 means 27 and 35 inclusive okay so you can see a person with age 27 and also you can see a person with age 35 now what else we need is that who are having five plus years of experience right so there is a column called total working years okay so basically we want anyone which is more than or equal to five okay so we'll say total working years greater than equal to 5 
now if you see the total working experience column working years column any one which is more than equal to 5 is present now you might want to check what is the total count of this whole you know data set you can say total select count star and run the query again so how, total 455 employees and what is the total count of our data set without any filter 1470 so 455 out of 1470 are the employees which are having five plus years of experience and belong to age group 27 and 35 so I'll roll this back and I'll fire my query again. Now, this is one example of a very straightforward filter criteria and we have used the between clause. Now, let's take a look at another example. Fetch the details of employees having maximum and minimum salary working in different departments and who have received less than 13% salary hike. Now, less than 13% salary hike. So there is a column called percentage salary hike. So we need someone who is less than 13%. So we will put the filter criteria of less than 13. Now, secondly, we want the maximum and minimum salary per department in different department. So first of all, what we have to do is, I'll first break this query for you guys. So first, let's just filter the set of employees who are having salary hike less than 13%. Okay, everyone who has less than 13% is now in my list. Now, now we need to use our another feature of SQL analytics is called group by. Now we want what is the maximum and minimum salary in each department which people with less than 13% salary hike have received. So first of all, you need to use a clause called as group by department. Now group by department means that we are going to get all the data grouped by department. It is just like in Excel when you create a pivot the, uh, and in the pivot, when you drag and drop a column in the rows, uh, section. So basically in the pivot, you are trying to group by that particular column. Similarly in SQL, this is a very synonymous to pivoting. You're pivoting the data by department. Now, when you are pivoting basically in a group grouping by here, you have to use a analytical function like max, min, sum, average, count, etc. So here, now our question is maximum and minimum salary. So first what I'll do is I'll say, what's my maximum monthly income, for example, and per department. Let's just take first example per department. Okay. So in the sales, people who have received less than 13% salary hike, their maximum monthly income is 9,924. Uh, and research and development 9980 you want you can order by max monthly income descending so the highest one will come at the top okay so research and development has the maximum monthly income uh, sales the next and human resources next now i also want minimum monthly income So here you go, you will get both the parameters, but we are sorting only by the max. So in research and development, okay, the people who have uh, less than uh, uh, salary hike of 13% have maximum monthly income of 9980 and minimum of 10,000. Okay.
now for example you want to first do a group by and then perform a filter then you need to use a clause having and then like this okay so this is an example which showed you how you use group by and having now let's take another example calculate the average monthly income of all employees who worked more than 3 years and whose education background is medical okay so now similarly what we have to do is first let's first get the details of the employees who are who have spent more than 3 years at this company and are from education field medical now these are this this is the list of the all the employees okay who have who belong to this filter criteria but now i want the average monthly income across all these employees who fit into this filter criteria so i'll do by group by education field and anyways it's only medical so i have to use a function mathematical function average avg monthly income and i will get the average monthly income which is 7345 so basically people employees who have spent more than 3 years in the company and belong to the medical education field have an average monthly income of 7345 you want to do group by or not it doesn't matter because anyways it's a filter criteria so you can discard this group by okay now next identify the total number of male and female employees under attrition whose marital status is married and haven't received promotion in last 2 years okay so now our criteria is select uh, first let me just say select star from employee attrition whose marital status is equal to married and year since last promotion is 2 okay so who haven't received promotion since last promotion since last 2 years equal to 2 now this is my data set now after the filter criteria and attrition equal to yes okay now these are the employees now i want the total number of male and female employees so now i have to apply group by because i now want a group by gender a group by gender and the count of male and female employees who belong who fit into this criteria so eight male and two females are is the total count of the employees who belong to this criteria where their marital status is married year since last promotion is only 2 and attrition is yes okay so now you should be able to understand when when to use group by and when not group by is required when you need to do a pivoting or uh, you know a group by basis a particular textual column and then you need a relevant calculated measure or number associated with it using a mathematical function like count sum average etc next employees with max performance rating but no promotion for 4 years and above okay now this is a interesting thing now let's first of all find in our data set what is the maximum performance rating which has been given to a particular employee first let's check our data set let's take a glance at the data set performance rating yeah okay 
so people have performance rating as three four five etc three or four i believe so let's see what is the maximum performance rating so maximum performance rating is four okay so no one has received greater than four so i need uh the list of employees with maximum performance rating as four uh, uh sorry at maximum performance rating but no promotion for four years and above okay so first of all what i'll do is i'll write a sub query where i'll check like this above select max performance rating from employee attrition and then i'll in the where clause of performance rating should be equal to this right so if tomorrow in my data set there is a employee who has received a performance rating of 5 so then this query will automatically start returning 5 okay then what is the year since last promotion is greater than equal to 4 and then now i can run this query okay so now you can see uh, this is the list of employees who have received maximum performance uh, rating but haven't received promotion is uh, more than 4 years greater than equal to 4 years okay now next who has maximum and minimum percentage of salary hike okay so now i want to check who, which particular set of employees who have received spent x amount of years at company have a good have a performance rating and year since last promotion but what is their maximum and minimum percentage salary hike so for example what i wanted to show with this data set is that people with one year at company performance rating as 4 year since last promotion is 0 uh means they are very recently uh, you know been promoted uh but uh, their salary hike maximum salary hike which they got, which those set of employees have received is 25 and minimum is 20 uh right and years at company similarly so this data set is actually sorted by uh descending order of maximum percentage of salary hike and then ascending order of minimum percentage of salary hike so anyone who has all these set of uh, employees who have maximum of 25 but minimum of 20 to 25 right so the the criteria the query which we have used is we have grouped by years at company performance rating year since last promotion and within that we have found out what is the max and minimum percentage of salary hike now after grouping it we have reused order by clause in the order by first we are descending means highest first lowest uh, later of maximum percentage salary hike and then after you have the uh, sorting of maximum minimum percentage salary hike should be in ascending lowest first and higher later okay now another very important uh, uh, keyword within sql is distinct so for example i want to find out what are the set of distinct uh, departments in my uh, you know in my office or in my organization so these are the set of departments to which anyone any employee belongs to so you can use distinct now next take another example employees working overtime but get given minimum salary hike and are more than 5 years with company okay now i want to check that there are people who are working overtime but they are given minimum salary hike and already are more than 5 years with the company right so similarly first i'll try to find out what is the minimum percentage of salary hike uh, given in the form which is 11% okay so now first i'll get this list of employees who have spent overtime who have done overtime and received minimum uh percentage salary hike 
and are also spent more than five years in the company. So this is a pretty small data set. And if I'm, even if I uh, apply and attrition equal to yes. Okay, so you can see uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people have left the firm because of probably uh, they spent, they were spending over time, they were given minimum salary hike and they were already with the firm for the last five years. So this is a good uh, finding which can be presented to the management that, you know, these are the probably the reason why people are leaving. Now, similarly, uh, you can also check just by flipping the uh, uh, conditions. Okay, people are, who are the people who are doing over time and have received maximum salary hike. Now, so now if I want to check what is the maximum salary hike which has been given in the firm is 25. So people who have received 25% salary hike, but have only spent less than five years in the firm. Okay. So, okay, great. I only get one person who belongs to this criteria. So it's a good catch. Okay. You can check. There is a, there is a one person, there's an outlier. There's an exceptional case. And probably it could be that the person have performed extraordinarily or uh, what, what is the other reason behind? So you can, the HR or any management uh, person can take a look into it. Okay. And similarly, uh, who has not spent overtime people who have not done overtime, but have received maximum salary hike. Okay. Again, this is also a good catch. You can check they have not done overtime. They were not doing overtime, but they received maximum salary hike and have spent less than five years in the firm. So that's also a good thing to look at that. Why are these people given a hike? Another one, what is the maximum relationship satisfaction minimum for people with basis, the uh, marital status. So this is a pretty straightforward four and one. So all different kind of analytics and, uh, you know, uh, you can perform queries, you can write queries, you can check, you can do, uh, make some inferences, uh, derive some inferences, intelligence out of your data. You can mine information, you can uh, write queries. So it's a very powerful tool. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.